Hey guys, Ninja and Darce here today. G'day. Number three in our little series of fixing Darcy's lower leg. Yep. So we looked it up, we found out when it was. It was nearly three years ago. Do you want to? Yeah, I'll show them. I couldn't believe it. <laughs> I actually couldn't believe it. It still stumbles me because when I when you think back in time, what's what those dates were, you think uh, that, that we were playing this team that I didn't even think was in that competition. So um, anyway. Let's let's have a look. So yeah, 13th of March, 2021 was when I early stages treatment and exercise rehab for my acute ankle injury. So it's almost three years. We're, we're in February, February 14th. It's Valentine's Day today, Nin. <laughs> yeah. Happy you know? Valentine's Day, Happy man. Happy Valentine's Day, mate. <laughs> Happy to be doing a video with you. Yeah. <laughs> um, and yeah, so we're gonna talk about some assessment or just go through where I was feeling the restrictions and pain. First of all, the the treatment we did last week was really, really helpful. Um, it's got me to a point where I'm not feeling sore after training that I did last night. So I run around, train, we played uh, we played like a little intra club, so it was full 100% tackling, um, go go as hard as you can. Um, and I'm feeling, I'm feeling fine. Um, if anything, there's a difference in my right leg and my left leg. So my right leg, I feel pretty like confident doing things like pistols and, and, and RDLs like this sort of stuff. Whereas my left leg, yeah, I can just feel a little bit of unstableness. Ninja maybe like through the medial part there, around that medial yep. malleolus, as I, like, I just don't have the same confidence and range to go down into that pistol. RDL is fine, but yeah, as soon as I do a knee to wall on this left side, it's pretty good, but it, it just, it just feels like there's some locking at the front, but also at the back. Yeah. So yeah, what do you All think? Right. Yeah, cool. Let's explore. And, yeah. And I think what this is demonstrating as well, there's you got lingering niggles and things that don't, haven't quite healed up, you keep on pulling up sore from. Mm. You can do something about it yep. if you have good, effective treatment yep. and somebody's dedicated to getting it right. So mm. it's just a, a lesson out there that like Dars has been suffering. And it, was like, it wasn't until I said, fuck, you just keep on pulling up sore, mm. man. Like, let's, mm. let's fucking fix it. Yep. And I'm doing the same with Aaron as well. He's been pulling up sore for weeks and weeks yep. with his Achilles. Let's just fix things, you know, yeah. so let's get it done. So anyway, you want to sit down again? Yep, yep, yep. And we can, um, you can guide me around. So it might be, yeah, like starting somewhere in there. So I'm not even putting any wax on for a start. I'm just going to go just above where he said. And that's sensitive already. Yep. Yeah. So we've got the part of our hand we like using the pizzy form. Mm. If you look at the anatomy of it, it's like this little um, mountain off the off here. So it's like a, a, a little tool that kind of gets into the nooks and crannies and it's, it's quite easy to use too because it's just your hand. You don't have to kind of keep your arm pretty straight and yeah. kind of get a bit of leverage and, and power. But uh, you don't need to kind of use a lot of force a lot of times when things are sensitive. So just trying to warm it up mm -hmm. and then I can kind of angle, just do little turns in my hand when I want to get into the, the nooks and crannies like that. Yeah. Make you sweat. Yeah, yep, already yeah, really man. connected, man. Like no no wasting time. It's just straight into some good good spots. Yeah. Yeah, as you said, I want to um further what Ninja was saying about I get frustrated sometimes when I'm at the footy club and people get have these little niggles or their injuries and, and they're not getting body work. Mm. They're just relying on time to heal. Uh, their their ankle or their hamstring or their thumb, whatever that they're dealing with, and I think the issue with with that is is you can you can fast track it, you can heal it, and progress that healing phase by tenfold. Like the the difference between getting in and getting some blood flow and some circulation, loosening off um, the muscles around it, but also pushing into the the points that. Um, a signal to the brain that there's pain receptors in that area it can make such a big difference just in 5, 10, 15 minute treatment. Imagine what a full 45 minute to an hour could do. So if you've got some pain or something lingering in your body, go and get some body work. Get some, get some stuff done. If you're around Melbourne, oh, that's really good. Short term pain for long term gain. That's what I'm thinking right now. How I'm going to be able to perform at the best of my game after this treatment. Um, and yeah, we work in a field where we get gurus like Ninja who have been doing this for 25 years plus that I can, um, you know, I've utilize. got to utilize. Yeah. And yeah, 
it, it took Ninja to, to have that little bit of frustration or, you know, why does this guy keep complaining about his ankle and, and, Nin, and Aaron about his Achilles when we've got this, this resources. platform, resources, <laughs> these, yeah, utilise that we can, we can use. So, yeah, that's my little two cents worth. Yeah, the little line there is, is not a lack of resources, it's a lack of resourcefulness. Yes. So, and when I was listening to Das just then too, I was like, how many times have you, have you known people that have had things not just for one or two years or mm. six months, they've had them for 20 years or 30 yeah. years and they're still talking about an injury or an accident or, yeah. or whatever, a, a migraine or a headache or a, mm. you know, whatever condition it might be. Um, yeah, it could be made better, you know, maybe not fixed fully, but made better, made more comfortable, made mm. life more easy to get through and, and performance better. Yep. So yeah, we're, we're big on performance, you know, like yeah. we say the, the body's an instrument, not an ornament. Mm. So it's sort of just sort of saying that, you know, it's here to utilize and have, have a good life with. And yeah, so it's, it's, you know, it's the ground floor, you know, like if you, if your body, your physical body's not in good shape, fucking makes life a lot harder yeah you know no, no matter what your values are i think you should um yeah take some get some good habits in around your physical health and, mm. and be vital yeah it's sort of uh yeah yeah like i said it doesn't matter if you're into finance or family or you know whatever it is mental if your physical body is better you can make more money you can be mm. better for your family you can study harder mm do more research, whatever it might be that you enjoy doing. So Prioritise your physical health. Yeah. Yeah, make that a priority because things will flow on and have, um, yeah, good, good, um, good effects as you live this life. Yeah. yeah. Don't be held back by pain or a headache or migraine or an ankle pain. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's good, man. You, yeah, this whole time has been really really connected and working right into the points where i i've been feeling some restrictions and some some soreness yeah yeah so a lot of the times the the reason why things kind of linger is because it's, it's this calcification you know mm. that occurs and it just doesn't shift by itself mm. you know so when you kind of and it's like an over scarring type of thing to to make things really strong when there's been a, a trauma mm. so or there's been a you know constant overuse of things you know mm. they might be small little things but there's the the micro tearing and the you know it happens and the strain and stress mm. and that happens over time but that doesn't shift necessarily by itself just through exercise and and things like that so you need to, to come in and um manually do it mm. so you need to hold on to things yep. and uh wait for it to kind of file away yeah you know? So that's kind of what I feel like I'm doing. If you had a microscope, you'd see little splinters of calcium flicking off these spots because yep. they're, they're jagged and they're, they're really um, rough beneath the skin. And that kind of is what irritates and cuts into in a way and, and makes mm. the inflammation and mm. hits the pain receptors and mm. you know these sort of things. So yeah, especially when we're doing things like sprints and jumps and tackles and all these different yeah. things where there's this high High forces. level forces, yeah, yeah, yeah. They they kind of get irritated and and pushed beyond mm. kind of just the walking around type of thing where you feel okay. Yeah. So. Yeah, no, that terribly. feels really good, and and him ex uh, ninja explaining what's happening, I can start to like really connect into that and feel it, and I can resonate with the 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 chips or the um, tiny filing on the bone. I can feel things sort of breaking off or moving around or yeah yeah it's subtle isn't it but it yeah, just, it's subtle you need to have these things taken out you know yeah chipped away at yeah 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 it's really really good and um just thinking this because i'm i'm in um detox mode at the moment once mm. again and um i know there's there's some good stuff out there that you can if you have got scarring in your mm. body there's some things that you can take they're called um bad calcium dissolvers mm. and uh i've been learning about these for the last 13 years i think and um yeah i'm on some right now and um 
mainly the main ones I, I remember them all, but it, it's like the zeolites, I think, are the, the king. But you got fulvic acid, humic. Um, shilajit is a, a common word that kind of combines a lot of these different volcanic rock extracts. Yep. And it's kind of like they target, they call it bad calcium. So it's like mm. the bad calcium in your body is the stuff that's just in the joints. It's stuck mm. in there. It's calcified up. It's arthritic or something. Arthritic, can, yeah. yeah. Yep. So whereas there's kind of living calcium in your body too, which is really essential for, you know, muscle contraction and different mm. other different functions. So Bone health. Yeah. Yeah. So kind of, um, yeah, you, there's a distinction. There's two different kinds. So there's dead that's not a part of you. Mm. It's not living, if you know what I mean? So whereas our bones are living, you know, they're kind yeah. of replicating cells. They turn over. Yeah. So it's, it's a really different kind of thing. So... And I think the, the way that a lot of these things that I kind of take uh, for detoxification to work, they, they've got these magnetic pulls. So they kind of, um, they've got a different polarity to the, the thing that they're targeting and they kind of draw it to it. You know, like the charcoal is one that I kind of really love yeah. as well. And the bentonite clay, the charcoal is just amazing. It just sort of, any poisoning that, you know, people have, they like get taken to hospital or the vet or wherever, if you've got a dog that's mm. eating something mm. wrong, and um, they give them charcoal straight away. And it's like this magnetic pull into mm. the charcoal, the poison, and delivers it out safely. Yeah. So it's similar, similar with these zeolites and, or the, you know, the shilajits. Yeah, fulvic acid. acid, yeah. Yeah, so it kind of draws things out. Bentonite clay is really good at that kind of stuff too. So... Which leads me, I had a little plan for today. I was going to show Das some stuff about um, living food versus um, some dead food. Mm. Okay, so just as I finish this little bit here. That's been really good too, man. That just started to feel, oh. Yeah. Just different. that, like so much different. Yeah. Yeah, that's a real good test for me. If anything, there might be a little bit at the back now, yeah, but yeah. We'll do that in a minute. Yep. So what I was going to show, show the camera as well. See this yeah. dust? Yeah. So we've got, a, it's called Kirillin phot Photography. So we've got a cooked tomato here up against a raw tomato. So you can kind of see, it, it's, it kind of can see the energy or the, the, the life force mm. of, the, of, the, of the tomato there. Yep. So you can see an apple, okay? So yeah, that one there was a cooked tomato and a raw one. You can yep. just see how much Energy's coming off that one up against the cooked one. Yep, yep, so yep. apple, you know, your hand, you know, yeah. something is living, it's got life force. Like even in the middle there, isn't that yeah. cool, kind of cool to see? It's like it's on, the, on the fingertips, yeah. you know? So I think you did the apple again, but I like a kiwi fruit. This one's an organic one. So you can kind of see the energy coming off up yeah. against the one from commercial. So it's got the, mm. so there's a difference. Yep. So in there, this one, so you've got an apple there. Yep. And that's meat. Mm. <laughs> so it's just sort of showing that the life force has disappeared from things once you, they're cooked yep. or they're dead. So that's yep. kind of one of the things we're, we're doing, doing juicing. Yep. So that's, you've got pure life force in it. Yep. And you, um, like just fruits and vegetables are just so amazing that they, they've, mm. they've trapped, you know, the sun energy, the atmosphere, the water, you know, the air. So it's sort of the like soil, the, the soil, the moon. Yeah, everything's involved with it, yeah. you know, and, and they're kind of so smart. And I could, yeah, so, and I've been looking at fascia as well and like our hydration system mm. of the body. That's how we hydrate ourselves. And, and fruit is the number one hydrator in the body. It's got this electrical charge in purified water, but you've got all the minerals and different things as well, enzymes and different things mm. like that. So when things are cooked, you're killing the life force of the food, but it's like enzymes, antioxidants, vitamins, yep. you know? And then you denature, you know, f f I think protein's the first one that gets denatured. Oh, no, nah, things, yeah, so all your enzymes die at like 47 degrees, antioxidants and things like that. About 60 degrees, protein starts to denature. Yep. So once your protein goes above 60, 60 degrees, degrees. Yeah, you're not getting the same absorption, the same kind of life force out of it. Yep. You can be getting, and then the, you've got carbohydrates and fats, they're at higher levels as well. So yeah, when you, you know, turn your fats into trans fats, they transform into a, something, a substance that the body doesn't recognize. Yep. So we're kind of, our bodies recognize living food. 
you know. So they, they want that, they crave it, they know what to do with it. But mm. when there's something that comes in that's a chemical or something that's a bit different, they kind of go, what's this, you know. Mm. It's, I can bastardise it a bit and work with it a bit, but yep. it's not optimal. Yeah. I suppose that's my kind of yeah. my story. So, um, yeah. So raw food. Raw food is, and like it just doesn't get talked about enough. You know, I know there is people that have been from I've been following people for many years that taught me all yep. the different stuff. And I'll, but I was reading stuff about it from 1900. I had some old books and things like that. And like I was telling Darcy about Gabriel Cousins, Dr. Gabriel Cousins. He, he had this um, doco out about 15 years ago. It was the 30 Days Raw. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, he was getting all these people with um, that were diabetic. Um, some two stage one level one diabetics, whatever it's called. Mm. So they were on insulins from you know when they were a kid, yeah. injecting, and then there was the type two diabetics. And within thirty days, every single one of them didn't need any insulin. So they turned their body around, you know, healed themselves. Mm. So it's amazing what the body can do when you kind of give it the right yeah. conditions, the right things, you know. So, yeah. If you're feeling unhealthy, if you've got some, some health issues, if you've got diabetes, maybe you can start to resort to eating organic food, living foods, fruit, fruits and vegetables as a, um, as a staple. Mm. Um, we know that it's something that is encouraged, but how often are you actually practicing it and doing it? Mm. Um, you know, pharmaceutical drugs and all these types of things might be masking the agents or, or sedating you or... Um, yeah, just, just like a band-aid approach. Mm, it's not actually temporary. healing healing you from the inside out. So use food as medicine. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Give it a go. You want yep. living things like living water, living air. Yep. You don't want stale air. Don't want, you, don't want, um, you wouldn't drink out of a pond, you yep. know, with heaps of algae and stuff in it. Mm. But it's something that's a waterfall. It's alive. Yep. You know, it's, it's got electricity in it. Mm. It's where hot. They make electricity out of falling water, yeah. you know. So, yeah. So look, you look to nature for health. Yeah, something yep. to think about. Not out of a bottle or a pill or whatever yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah, it's all yep. organic, grow your own, grow some yeah. sprouts even if you're living in a flat. Fuck, you can grow yeah. sprouts. I love growing sprouts with yeah. my kids and that. They love pouring the water in. And Let's do a little bit on that other bit, sit on yeah. the heel. Yeah, that's you, you might go me, face down. Yeah, um, you point me where it, it is. It might be a little bit through there yep. and then also, um, yeah, start there. It's going to start here. Might yep. start just below it so don't miss yep. it. Yeah. Yeah. So in there. Connect in again. Yeah. Oh, it's good. So that's clear. Taking out the trash. Yeah. Cleaning it. Yeah, so it's a really important concept to get. We're kind of trying to put things into our body all the time and or creams on our faces or, you know, things like that. But it's sort of like elimination is a very important concept to consider. Mm. So, you know, you, you heard the concept, you are what you eat. I've I recently heard you are what you don't excrete as well. So it's sort of a really important thing to think about. Like, and like beauty comes from within. Like if you want good skin, have a clean body, then yep. stuff's not trying to get out. Yep. It's kind of like the skin is a big elimination channel. So yeah, you just, if you want to want, you know, that's, it was a really big lesson for me, yeah, ever since I kind of had really bad acne when I was like 16 to 20, just covered, completely covered. And um, yeah, it wasn't until I, I started doing really, you know, intense detoxes that everything cleared up. Like, and you just sort of, a lot of times you don't know what you don't know because you don't have comparison. So when you've got comparison, how, you know how you feel right now, mm. you know, and then when you kind of go through an experience of strengthening or detoxing or, or whatever it might be, you feel different. Yeah. You, feel, you can feel better, but you, do, you don't have comparison until you've, you've tried things out. So that's kind of my little, little spiel. And I always think about, you know, imagine if you, you know, you, you're untrained, you start doing deadlifts once a week, you know, for six months. And that we'll transport in the future. How do you feel now? Do you feel stronger? Yeah. So you kind of you just got to start, mm. you know, whether it's yoga or running or, or whatever it might be. Whatever you'll stick at is the best exercise, you know. So whatever you kind of brings you some joy. So, you know, a lot of times you've got to get through that first month. I kind of, whenever people come to the lift club or sprints, I say, fucking come four weeks in a row, mate. Come four weeks in a row, it'll be totally different. You're feeling shit today, it's really stirred you up. 
things are woke, waking up and they're, and they're sore because they haven't been used. They're, they're not using that sequence that we're kind of encouraging them to do. But um, yeah, so that's, that's the, the habit and to make a start. You don't have to be great at the start, but you have to start in order to be great. Yep. So all the excuses, I need to get fit before I start training. It's fucking yeah. shit. That's done illogical. Yeah. <laughs> you need to start training to get fit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah rocking up is the hardest thing. Yeah. We speak about that at our footy club. Um, we, we, we label our days and, and our Tuesdays are committing. So committing just means getting there. Once you get there, that's the hardest thing. It's easy to stay on the couch. It's easy to, you know eat or go out and drink or just procrastinate mm -hmm. and, and distract, distract yourself. be comfortable, be comfortable. That's yeah. easy. Get yeah. out of the, the, the comfort zone and you will evolve. You will be thankful to yourself. You'll be grateful. You will start to, to um, flourish in, in other areas of your life. So yeah, getting there, walking into the gym or the yoga studio, or the Pilates or here at Lift Club or whatever it is, that, that's the that's the hardest thing is just rocking up, walking in the door and starting or continuing to, to stay motivated. It's, a, it's an easy, for us it's easy because we're, it's a, it's, it's a habit now. We've done it for years and it's just part of our identity. It's who we are. We, we eat well, we train well, we drink f filtered water, we do our grounding, we make sure that we see enough sunlight, we get enough sleep. Um, we deadlift, we sprint once a week, and and we live pretty happy, healthy lives. Mm. Got community as Got well. Community, we? yeah, um, that's one of the big things, isn't it, for longevity is having community, yeah, purpose and place. And it seems simple, but we've owned it. We've 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 made it a part of our identity. But for those out there, that might sound a little bit far fetched. Doing all of those things, just start with one or two, and and see how you start to feel. Um, yes, yeah, steps, isn't it? Stepping stones. Stepping stones yeah. to the journey. Yeah, you got to be realistic. Yeah. With where you're at, and then and start there. Yeah. It's oh, good, man. Pull that line up. I can feel yeah. a bit of a tight line. Oh through there. yeah, that's really good. So look, even treating just the year, like a lot of times people don't realise that these are. Um, places that you can work because they, they're just so conditioned to think you just do soft tissue, ther soft tissue therapy on muscles, you know, and they kind of, you know, the, the backs of a bone or tendons and ligaments and things like that, they're, they're just really thick, dense forms of fascia. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times they, they need a bit of help as well because they, they do need to flex a little bit. They do need to be able to stretch a little bit, even bones. You can mm. work on them, that periosteum, that surrounding coating of a bone. It's, mm. it's this rubbery fabric um, that it's, it just needs to be hydrated. So, and that's, yeah, the, the fascia is a hydration system of the body. Yep. So it's this liquid gel. And it's sort of, they've, they've sort of recently discovered, I think it went 25 years ago, they were talking about it, but um, they've, they've scientific, scientifically kind of, seen it now like that um it is a liquid gel it's like aloe vera you know how it's got this liquid gel in it so it's not like a fourth phase of water so you got your, your you know your liquid your your vapor and your ice which is solid but then there's also a gel kind of phase as well and that's what the most of the body is made out of it's fascia everywhere and it it's also the the hydration system so it's made of water and it the, they delivers water because they one of the Channels. yeah I saw this op, they did an operation on this person's hand and they kind of tourniquet it and no none blood was no blood was in there and then under this microscopic camera you could see the the fascia mm. and it was actually like an irrigation system like water was dripping out of it mm. and so if you kind of your fascia is healthy you're delivering water all around your body. Mm. But they were also saying that, you know, fruit was the way to hydrate your fascia, the best way. It was so much better than just water. Yeah. So it was sort of interesting there. And, and like, so I suppose fruit, like we were saying earlier, is the fruit's got the electricity in it. It's got the minerals in it. It's got the life force in it, you know. So, and, that, and that's the other thing with fascia. It's a chemical electrical system as well. So it's kind of delivering messages around the body. Mm. 
So it's and it's structural. It creates structure in our body. It's our it's our body's mycelium. It's yeah. Fungi world. Yeah. yeah. It's covering everything. It covers most abundant everything. thing. It keeps us intact. It's the most abundant thing. But when we rip it with surgeries and we cut down here or cut, you know, you do your elbow, it yeah. actually puts this separation between our fascia that was once this strong webbing. Yeah. Now it's been cut. Yeah. And you can imagine that that is no longer as strong or as connected or as uh, the reflexologies and the, the, the um, ability to just um, catch things or... Um, I'm trying to yeah explain this. Yeah, the, the foot, I think it's the reflex stuff that comes naturally in our body. I'm going to show you this, Leo. If you come down here, this is this is the difference between... So come from the side and watch my fingers. This is the difference between muscle and fascia. So this is muscle, my ability to, to bring that up and the tendons, okay? This is fascia. So I'll bring it up higher. See, that's my fascia system recoiling that down. I'm not, I'm not controlling that. That's the difference between what my fascia does and what my, mas what my muscles do in the terms of the structure and the integrity of my body and how that might relate to my shoulder mm -hmm. being able to come far when I catch a ball out there or when I whip and throw something. Our fascias have so much torque in it and so much power and control. This fascia that's covering my ankle and my Achilles that keep it um, strong and intact. Okay, so yeah, that's a little, a little thing that I wanted to explain as well. Yeah, that's cool. It's cool, hey man. It's <laughs> awesome, that. man. It's yeah. awesome. And yeah. the other, the fourth thing about fascia, they've known this for a long time too, is that it, our traumas are held in our fascia. That a memory is in our fascia yeah. as well. Like it's like if you go next to a hot something hot, what is it? You know, yeah. it's the nervous system, but it's something going on way before it, the message can get to your brain. You know, so it's yeah, the fascia and but yeah, just trauma. Is, you know, stress and, and traumas are held in our shoulder blades, they're held in, you know, our, our hips or, or wherever, you know, our calves, our lower back, well, that's, you know. That's good there, Ninja. So, yeah. So it's an interesting thing. They've kind of been studying that for a long time. But if you, you look up metaphysics and um, wherever you've got pain in your body, look up what the metaphysical meaning is of that. So, and then you kind of might get some insights into what's going on on a deeper level in your life that you might not be um, yeah, acknowledging or aware of and, and things like mm. that. So It helps us to um, get a gauge of where, where we are spiritually and our, and, our, and our psyche, emotionally and mentally, to connecting that to our physical. So if we're saying we're doing something, and we're not really doing it, maybe we're we're not being integral to ourselves or authentic. And that's why our knee hurts or, yeah, or our neck hurts. It's, it, there's a relationship between, yeah, what, what we're saying and what we're doing and, and um, yeah, our masculine side, our feminine side, our, our nurturing side and our, our working side. There's, yeah, there's a whole lot of, a whole lot of um, connection with our metaphysics that we can look into and dive, dive into that can help us resolve and, and, and uh, move forward. Yeah. So the, one, what you're saying there, like I think one yeah. of the most important things that everybody on the planet's got is integrity with yourself. Yeah. You know, you kind of, you, you say you're going to do something to yourself and if you kind of don't do it or you don't meet that kind of standard or whatever it is, it's, yeah, or just completely opposite of what your kind of mm. values are, that's hurting yourself, yeah. you know? So yeah, it's, it's really important. It's really good there. But so, when you do do what you say, yeah. you start to trust yourself and that discipline grows and we start to, your, your ability to stay disciplined and stay motivated, you start to really grow and, and evolve and take uh, life to the next step. So if you're held down by, you know, for an example, oh, I'm not drinking this weekend or I'm not taking drugs and then you do, each time you do that, you lose a little bit of self-belief. Yeah. And that gives us this blasé, um, like emotional state where we go, ah, oh, fuck it, next time. When we're also um, shameful 
we feel shame and we feel guilt and we feel fuck I'm never drinking again type mm-hmm. whatever mm-hmm. whatever you're saying nah that's the last time but then when is it actually going to change when are you actually going to stay true to to yourself and I'm actually working through some of that stuff with myself at the moment and um, it's yeah I'm 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 really reaping the rewards of it becoming more motivated and productive I'm feeling healthier um, by just doing no alcohol at all zero it's it's only been three and a half weeks of just not having anything and I've had lots of social events I drove three and a half hours on the weekend to be in an engagement party where very much the 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 social group was was drinking and having cocktails and beers and 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 all the rest and I was just um, drinking zero beers, Heineken zero beers and no alcohol, a few of those and some water. And I got up the next day and went for a swim and a run and played squash while everybody had a headache and was was suffering from... from Detoxing. Yeah, so <laughs> there's... And the fact that I stuck to my guns felt yeah. the most liberating um, feeling that you can feel. So, yeah, sober already, give it a go. Mm-hmm. Be, get sober or give up the... The habit or the the um, addiction that's not serving you, and fill it with something that will serve you. You've got to when you're giving up an addiction, if it's porn, if it's gambling, if it's drugs, if it's alcohol, if it's whatever it is, um, you need to fill that with something that is going to be productive and and help you. So if that's exercise, if that's meditation, if that's reading a book, whatever it is. Um, yeah, that's the that's the concept. Find something to fill that void. Balance yourself out. We've, we've given some wisdom to Yeah, very here. good to us. Oh, yeah. Done lots of... Yeah, so just to add to that a little yeah, bit, like yeah. Demartini, we love Demartini. Yeah. It makes you... We do our values determination twice a year. Yeah. So you kind of figure out who you are, what's important to you, what you want to import into your life. And... Um, and sort of, if you are kind of doing drinking and, and things like that a lot, you kind of got to look at um, what value is that fulfilling, you know? Because a lot of times it's that connection and um, being a part of something and things like that. Whereas, um, you know, can you? How can you get connection and being part of something without having to kind of drink or poison yourself, damage yourself in a way? So you kind of need to figure things out like that out. What are you getting from? doing the thing yep. and then you can kind of think about how can I still achieve that same you know, connection with, but not having to do damage myself and you know and might be rich you know finding uh, a tribe of people that you know go for bushwalks or you know do, do different things you know you're still getting that connection and mm-hmm. and um, nature or whatever you, you're kind of trying to get but mm-hmm. you can do it in a healthier way mm-hmm. Yeah, so just some little tips. So so know yourself and then kind of take a deeper dive into your habits because there'll be a reason you're doing it. We don't don't do anything for no reason. There's there's always going to be a benefit from it. Mm. Even the, you know, the things that we think are the worst habits, there's still benefit in it. So, and we kind of just beat ourselves up, but we actually are, you know, getting something out of it. So, So, yeah. Yeah, you're filling a void for whatever reason. You're repressing it. And that might be a, a deeper thing. We're not psychologists, but maybe you don't need the psychologist or the counselling. Maybe you just need to look into to nature and food and, and the simple things in life that, that, that are going to start serving you. Most of the time, I think people actually do know that what they're doing might be wrong or lazy or eating junk food or whatever. And... Once you start to do things that we know is right, it's like you have this epiphany and you're just on this journey and your life starts to become so much easier, more joyful, love, integrity, all these key concepts and and words. So, yeah. Yeah. It was meant to be a treatment swap, yeah. today, but we've done 45 had a minutes chat. on me and had a chat. And this is this is what Darcy and I do. Yeah. So we have chats like this all the time. So it's sort of you. Spider on the wall, fly on the wall, (laughs) type of experience with us and um, yeah, get a chance to hear what we talk about and yeah, but um, yeah, have a bit of a think about some of the things that went on in our chat, but yeah, I suppose it comes back to treatment as well. If you've got things that are stuck in there, lingering, it's time to 
time to evolve. I think that was what we were kind of getting to. Yeah. Like all these different things that we're trying to do. We're trying to grow up a bit. Mm. We're trying to evolve. We're trying to be better. Mm. But if, if you're happy with the way you are, that, that's cool as well. Yeah, like we're, that's fine. Yeah. But if, if you do want to get better and evolve, you, you need to address it. You need to make some changes. You need to change your habits. You need to have a look at yourself. You need to look inside here, you know, not just in here, inside your heart as well and see what's, what's happening. Ask yourself these specific questions. Yep. We've got lots of quotes downstairs and, and, and I read, well, some of them I don't see for months, but every, t every now and then they'll pop out and one that popped out for me the other month, I think it was actually last year, was the truth will set you free. And, it, and, and quotes mean different things for different people. So whatever that means to you, maybe that's something you need to work on. Yeah, cool. Leave it with that fucking wise man, Das. Yeah. <laughs> it's good. It's awesome. My ankle feels amazing too, yeah. man. There was actually a lot working through that medial part in, in, yeah. in tip post and the Achilles. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It was great. Three sessions fixed. We'll, we'll report back in, I don't know, a couple of weeks. Yeah, see how we're going. See how we're going. Hopefully we don't need to do too many more ankle treatments yeah. this footy here, but no doubt, maybe one or two. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Done. Done.